In this video, we will show how to install the component repair kit BA21F0F0102. This repair kit includes all necessary components to repair common failures on the main power supply board. If the TV has no power, it is most likely because of a blown fuse and failure of other succeeding components. This kit is designed to fix those problems. I have removed the board from the back of the TV, and I will start by replacing the fuse. I pull out the old one and slide in the new one. Next, I will use my desolder gun to remove the diode at D608 and the resistor at R611. Then, one at a time, I will bend the replacement components and put them in place on the board. Be careful not to bend the legs too much as they could break. Next, I will flip the board over and solder the components to the board. After I am done soldering, I will clip the legs close to the board. If you have a component with long legs, you will always want to clip them as close to the board as possible. Next, I will use my desolder gun to remove the diodes at D601, D602, D603, and D604. Sometimes, as you are desoldering them, they will fall out the other side of the board. Then, I will take my replacements and bend the legs to insert them through the holes in the board. After placing the components, I will flip the board over to the back side and then solder them in place with my solder iron. Once again, I will trim the legs after I am done. Next, I will desolder the diode at D607 and then again flip the board over and solder the replacement diode to the board. Your replacement components may not always look identical to the originals, but we have tested these parts and they are compatible. The next diode that I am desoldering at location D609 may not be present on every board that this kit works for. So if your board has D609, replace it. If your board does not have D609, you can disregard the component. Once again, I will bend the legs and solder the component to the board on the back side. Next, I will desolder the transistor at Q602 and put in the replacement.
you may need to adjust the legs a little bit to get them through the holes. After you have the component in place, you can solder it on the back side of the board. As always, be sure to trim the legs. Next, using a screwdriver, I will loosen the transistor from the heatsink at Q601. Then I will flip the board over and desolder the transistor from the board. With your replacement transistor, it is important to bend the legs so they fit through the holes in the board. Even though we do not use any in the video, it is recommended to apply heat sink compound to the back of the transistor where it touches the heat sink on the board. Next, I will use a screwdriver to tighten the component to the heat sink. Then flip the board over and solder it and trim the legs. The last component we are going to replace is the transistor at Q501. I am removing some of the solder using my solder wick and iron. Next, I will use my hot air gun to loosen the component and remove it from the board. If you are using a hot air gun, be sure to not get it too close to the board as it may cause the board to bubble. After I have removed the component, I will use my solder wick and iron to clean up the pads on the board. Then I will put some solder paste on the pads and then put the component onto the pads. Next, I will use my iron and solder to attach the component to the board. We have successfully installed this component repair kit. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.